What is up, Kosh Sniffers? This is Max. Welcome back to the Cletus Cook trying to go undefeated on Legendary Difficulty Challenge. My bad, I've been slacking on the uploads. I've been a little bit sick, so if my voice sounds a little bit off, that's why. But, hey, we're back to it. We got a fight offer in WFA. Marco Antonio Alvarez, 6 foot 3, 170 pounds, 74 inch reach. 28 years old, but he's only half a star. This is going to be light work for Cletus, and before I forget... Cletus did use his uh, first ever WFA paycheck to get his Alabama tattoo on his belly. We're going to keep adding many more throughout his career, but that's what we got so far. So I'm going to do this training camp, and then I'm going to upgrade Cletus at the end, show you guys what we're working with and how we're upgrading him, and then get to the fight. We have reached the end of our training camp, and we've gotten Cletus up to 115 skill points, so... He's still only a two star, so let's see what we can get him up to. So my sparring partners once again cut me open in practice. I'm going to get the body health up, leg health up, recovery up. I say this every time, but I always like to maximize chin and cardio first in this. Just because on Legendary, you literally cannot see your stamina or your damage, so... You could be more rocked than you think. Punch speed, kick speed. Mm, probably footwork. Let's see what he's up to. All right, we got him up to a two and a half star. We're going up against a, uh, I think it's a half a star. So, I mean, this should be pretty easy work for Cletus. Let's get to the fight. This is going to be Cletus's third fight. Second one in WFA. Let's see this tail of the tape. Cletus is uh, pretty lanky himself, honestly. So I think this will be a good matchup for us. Wow, fake glove touch? This, guy's, this guy plays the UFC 5 online for sure. Oh, got me with that overhand. Goes fast. There we go. Okay. Get that range down. We're circling him, circling our prey. There we go. Oh, we're whiffing. Nice. Oh, oh, it might be over quick. Oh, no. I overextended him. This guy secretly black, black belt in BJJ. All right. He's got top mount. This is bad. Get the half guard. Get the half guard, Cletus. Well, I've not upgraded our bottom game whatsoever. There we go. Oh, defend. All right, get the sprawl. Get up to the cage, up to the cage. Nice. And just like that, boys, we're up. My favorite way, sprawl to the cage. All right. Well, this guy's a water rock, so let's... let's Hit him with another combo. They call Cletus the Leon Edwards of Alabama. With that high kick. Oh! But much more action packed than Leon. Sorry, Leon. But this guy keeps weaving. Sounds like we gotta hook him. Oh. Oh! He's styling on me. I got to work on that head movement for sure. Yeah, I've never really been a head movement guy in UFC games, which is crazy. I just, just block, really, and use footwork. So I really need to work on my head movement. Because obviously, it's so nice to get a counter off of it. Yeah, another thing with Legendary Mode is that the rounds are really five minutes long. So they do not go quick. It's really simulation-like, which I honestly enjoy more than the more fast pace. That way you can really break a guy down. It's more, more accurate to what we see in real life. All right, we keep whiffing, man. I just gotta use the cage more. 
feel they pin him. Yeah. He's got to clinch this mother. Oh, what the fuck? Cletus. Oh, my God. Out of nowhere. The touch of death. Cletus Cook. I did not even know he was rocked. One clinch. One clinch was all I needed I, to end it. That was a one punch. There we go. And he was quick to be out of there. Wow, I honestly was, I'm shocked by that. I thought we'd get to the second round for sure. I should have known, man. Cletus. Cletus Cook, one punch power. Man. He only has like half a star of punch power, but little do we know. That's uh, one, one star past five, so he's up to six stars. Cletus Cook. Well, this might be a quick one, but I'll be back with another one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll record another one. I might actually just do one back to back. Get it out as soon as possible. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Check out the WWE content from Brady on the channel. And check out the podcast if you guys like uh, predictions for each card. Because me and Brady predict each and every UFC card on that uh, podcast. So go check it out if you guys haven't. And thank you for tuning in.